Good morning, uh, welcome to our practice of Bel Equine and if you'd like to follow me I'll show you into the practice and around. Right, so this is our um, main x-ray room. Uh, we do all our radiography in here. Uh, at the moment we've got a horse in here being prepared for surgery this afternoon. Um, this horse is having a lameness examination and is just about to have some nerve and joint blocks. Um, so in this room we have the stocks, as I say the colics will come in here first of all um, to be stomach tube uh, examined, ultrasound scanned, yeah, general examination room. Um, so Bell Equine was built in 1990 uh, by the two um, partners Richard Jones and Karen Coombe. Later on we had another two partners join, Tim Mayer and Julian Samuelson. Uh, so now in the hospital we've got um, three external barns, we can stable up to 24 horses. Uh, within the clinic we do radiography, uh, scintigraphy bone scanning, um, ultrasonography, endoscopy, uh, as, I say, as I mentioned earlier, soft tissue and orthopaedic surgery. We've also got uh, an MRI suite um, where we can do our magnetic resonance imaging. Uh, and if you'd like to follow me, I'll show you our scintigraphy suite. Right, so this is our uh, main scintigraphy suite. Uh, in this room, the horses have bone scans. They're injected with a radioactive isotope. So we keep them all in here under in a locked cupboard um, because they are obviously radioactive. Uh, and they come in these little lead containers, which obviously just looks like this. Obviously, if I was doing this for real, we'd have gloves on. And you would draw it up like that behind this screen. This is the gamma camera which will pick up the gamma rays from the horse. And we can scan various parts of the horse's body using this gamma camera. Um, so this is one of the horses that we have scanned previously. Um, this horse has had a full body bone scan. Um, so these scans here are of the horse's neck. So we've got like the ears coming up here uh, and the cheekbone here. So we've got the top of the neck, the middle neck, and then the lower neck here. Um, so this horse had problems with its back here uh, and I, I think its uh, back has therefore been uh, radiographed and medicated. This is our um, clean um, theatre prep area. So this is our autoclave steam steriliser and inside it gets up to temperatures of around 130 degrees to sterilise all of our metal equipment. So this is our um, gas steriliser, our ampoline steriliser, so all of our um, plastic materials will go into these bags along with one of these ampules. Uh, inside here is an ampule which will crack open, uh, then the gas is released uh, and it's all locked inside here. Uh, so this is our induction box where we uh, will induce and recover horses for anaesthetics. Uh, so in here, all the walls and the floor is padded um, to help protect the horse when they're um, being anaesthetised and recovering. We also use um, this crush door to help uh, anaesthetise the horse. And this works with the horse just standing here with its bottom in this corner. Uh, and then we will crush it against that so the horse will just slip down gently. We're going to go into the operating theatre now, so we have to put on our clogs. Uh, these are designed to keep theatre as clean as possible. This is our theatre table. Uh, it's a very good table. It can go up and down um, and each part of the table moves as well. We can move these bits to accommodate the horses as to what sort of recumbency we'd like them to be put into. So here we have um, our internal hospital barns. Uh, in each barn we have five to six stables uh, and we have a scintigraphy block further down uh, where we keep all our horses for bone scan. Um, so this is one of our hospital barns. Uh, we keep all of our inpatients in here. This, stable, uh, this barn has got five stables um, and we've got some inpatients in at the moment. Right, so in these stables uh, we have rubber matting on the floor 
um, for extra comfort and we use paper bedding which is nice and light and spongy, quite absorbent and relatively dust free um, to help horses with any breathing problems. Um, we also have uh, camera boxes in these barns so that the horses can be monitored 24-7 uh, and if you look up in the corner that's one of our cameras up there. <laughs>